Hi friends. So in this session, what I would like to present is working with temporary tables in SQL uh, tasks of SSIS. I mean, we often, as SQL Server developers, we often work with hash tables, hash hash tables, and at the rate which is table variables while writing stored procedures. Now, when we have to work between SQL tasks multiple SQL tasks where we have where we need a, a temporary table uh, which needs to be worked up uh, how do we work and how do we uh, pass the values that is what we will be looking at in this uh, SSIS demo, demo session so what I have here is, is uh, two SQL tasks which uh, one of them is to build uh, the data and the other one is, is to uh, manipulate or insert the data into into uh, a main table so let's look at what we have here uh, this is the SQL behind uh, so if you look at this is the T SQL now what I have done here is I have actually created a stored procedure USP underscore get employee which is nothing but simply it is selecting the records uh, from the EMP table so this is simply selecting uh, the records for these four columns from the employee table and what we are doing is we are inserting calling this stored procedure to insert the data uh, into a hash table which is a temporary table uh, in this T-SQL uh, task so that is the work of build temporary table the next SQL task is uh, for the next SQL task is, is mainly this which is actually it is uh, looking for employee fact sal uh, table and, and if it is uh, if it is present it is going to drop the table and then based upon uh, this query it is going to segregate the employee employee IDs employee names and their salary in terms of uh, high, low and medium uh, high, uh, medium and low this is the logic behind the segregation of the employee ID employee names and it is going to insert the, uh, the values from this tem temporary table into the employee fact sal table so that's all that we are going to do now let's try to run this uh, T-SQL co uh, code for these two T SQL, we are going as you can see, we are we have declared a temp table and we are simply using this temp table again to insert the data into the EMP fact sal table. That's all. So, in, in a general scenario, if we try to run this uh, T SQL code, it will fail. Uh, the first task will be successful, but the second task will fail. The reason behind is if you look at the failure reason it would simply say the app the object doesn't exist so this is because the um, the object temporary table does not exist the reason of this failure is actually because each of the sql tasks uh, have created their own connection i mean the connection managers uh, if this is the connection manager uh, uh, that is being used and we have connection pooling in SSIS so each of the SQL tasks actually create a connection to SQL Server and then once it is complete they close the connection down so the temporary table uh, table's scope is actually limited to a SQL task only so what is the workaround if I have to use the same temporary table over again uh, to the next SQL tasks what do I have to do the, the answer is if we click on the connection manager and look at the properties you would have a retain same connection property which is uh, which is by default uh, false if we enable this to true it will allow us to retain the same connection I mean the connection uh, that SQL, one SQL tasks make and will be followed by the next SQL task so now if I run this uh, SSIS package it will succeed the temporary table will be accessible over to the next SQL task as well so this will succeed now if we go and, and check for the contents of this table
they will be as I mean expected so that that's that's good for us now that is one that was one important point that I wanted to make here uh, first how do we pass the temporary tables so uh, that was the initial part now let me disable this part and let's look at a data flow task so what I have here is considering I have built the temporary table with the help of the SQL uh, with the help of this SQL and uh, and I use the temporary table actually to uh, export the data into a file so uh, I uh, by which I mean I want the the SQL instead of a SQL task I want this in the OLED DB so let's I have I have put a data flow task here which has a OLEDB source and the OLEDB source is something like the code behind the OLEDB source is something like this now the reasoning is if uh, the reason why I wanted to show you this important thing is because uh, in the OLEDB task if we try to use the temporary table it would not allow us to the reason is it would not be able to validate the data's existence or uh, sorry the object's existence before uh, at the time of the declaration which is at the time of when the when the package is being built so what do we do in such scenarios when we are trying to export the data can we use the temporary table at all can we do that so the the, the thing is for each of the tasks that use uh, the same connection or the SQL task set the property of delaying the validation to true for each of the tasks set them to true for here and the data flow task also delay the validation to true and next on the OLEDB uh, source set validate external metadata to false so it would not allow the external metadata to be validated before the package runs this is for when the package is running and let's look at the uh, connection manager of, of the flat file if you look at the flat file connection manager we are going to export this uh, record at this location so this is the folder generate emp generate emp where we would be actually exporting our text files now going back to the SSIS package it's okay for us now there is a workaround or there is a slight uh, mischief that we'll be doing here what I would suggest is let's create go to your SQL server let's create a, a global temporary object with the same definition of that of the temporary table I create this let's drop this first and then create this object why is it so give me a sec why is it not allowing us to drop this table and then let's create it again and then after that I point this SQL code to my global temporary table which will allow the metadata to be validated at the time of creation so that's the workaround that we are we have put in place and we set it to OK that will allow your OLEDB source to be declared and then the flat file destination also can be configured now after this task is done what we do is we click on the OLEDB source and then in the SQL command open this and simply edit it to the temporary value so it will not fail for you the next thing is 
drop your temporary table global temporary table so there is no more your global temporary table existing in your temp db so ultimately the thing is we are using the same temporary table which is declared and which is created and also the value is inserted here and then we are using the same value in the data flow task for the export of the file so now let's run this I am deleting this file and let's run this SSIS package remember the steps that I have undertaken here perfectly fine now if you open the EMP file we get the EID EMP name and salva so that is a, a, a quick workaround of how we can achieve this the last thing that I would want to show I disable this and I disable this the last thing which I want to show is how we use the same scenario in case of table variables if I have a table variable which is of the type of, of, of the same type and I insert the, in, in the table variable this, in, these values from employee uh, table how would we export the data into a flat file what is the scenario so say this is this is our table variable in this scenario this would return us the records now let's use the same table variable to generate the file let's delete this file again enable this task and run it run the package although the SSIS package has succeeded if we go down and see the file will not get any data will not get any data apart from the column names here the reason is the data was uh, I mean we have used a table variable here so it was actually table variable is declared and defined once and it counts only the records uh, and, it, and when it is inserted at the select period we have to have we have to put a workaround of setting your no count on so that the counts are not returned to the server and instead they are used on in the OLEDB source editor I'm, I'm simply putting this option in place and then let's run our SSIS package now if you look at the file you'll get all the records as required so these are very simple useful tricks which will be helpful to you first was passing a temporary table with setting your connection uh, retain same connection property to true the second was how we can use the workaround in the data flow task when you uh, are using a temporary table as the OLEDB source query source and, and the last was how we, we use the table variable so I hope all the three options uh, are clear to you and uh, using a temporary table as a OLEDB source uh, is, uh, is a lot easier and also in terms of resource because your temporary table is cleared when SSS, SSS package exists and also the load is uh, uh, it does not allow you to create any caching or, or a physical table in the memory or in the database so it's kind of easier uh, for you when we are trying to uh, build a data and then pass it out uh, from SQL Server so it, it's it's helpful instead of creating physical table you can use a temporary table uh, with this workaround I hope it's helpful uh, article for all of you guys thank you so much